Aries and welcome to your reading for September 2023. So I'm just going to shuffle and get some idea of some of the influences around you for September. Um, the first one is, of course, the new moon is for you going to be in your sixth house. So there's a possibility that you're thinking of some kind of reinvention in the areas of your work or your health, your daily habits. So you might be looking for a new job if you have a job and uh, rather than work for yourself, or you might do both, but be looking for a new kind of side job to keep things ticking over. You might be thinking about a new exercise plan, a new diet plan, or you might be seeing a specialist about something that you're concerned with. Just something in that area is going to be up for renewal and reinvention. So let's see what else you've got. You've got, let's do actually a past, present, future. So we'll do one, two, three, one, two, three. And let's get some angel cards and then we'll get some tarot. Okay. Okay, so big changes coming for you, Aries. Big changes, especially in the work area, is what I'm feeling intuitively. There's something that really does need to change, to shift, to give you a bit more security going forward in the future. So in the past, you've been very focused on how to improve your abundance, how to change things, how to bring a shift that's going to make you feel a bit more emotionally stable. There's been a little bit of a connection between your emotions and your sense of whether you're able to attract attract or keep abundance, the abundance that you need um, in order to keep everything moving in your life, to keep yourself stable. So that's been a source of um, concern in the past. And also you've got Taurus, which is very much the energy of, about the, the energy of abundance and whether we feel secure, whether we feel valued, whether we actually feel that we have enough personal resources to do the things that we want to do. It's also about nature, the abundance of nature. You've also got spiritual abundance. So it could be that because you've had to struggle a little bit in this area, Aries, um, recently, you've had to call upon those natural sources of abundance. You've been able to tap into your spirituality more. There's been more spiritual abundance. There's been a greater sense of connection, true connection with nature and truly understanding what abundance actually means by just appreciating the natural world and appreciating how much it gives to us and how all the richness that's held there. You could also have been focusing very much on partnerships, just coming up to the recent past um, Aries. You could have been looking at whether those partnerships are helping or hindering you in terms of um, shoring up your resources and strengthening what you actually have that's of value, what you have that you can say, this is mine, this belongs to me, this is my world, this is my kingdom, I've created this, I'm not depending on anyone else to achieve this for me or to create it for me. So, there's a lot of strength and stability that has come in from your spiritual understandings and from connecting with nature, but there still seems to be a need for you to define for yourself what's yours and what's someone else's, what's mine and what's yours, what's what's theirs, you know. So just getting real clarity about partnerships that help and heal you, partnerships that support you in moving forward and having that autonomy and having that sense of building your kingdom and partnerships that actually encourage maybe codependency or that actually aren't on that journey with you, that, you know, sort of aligning with people who are easily satisfied or who feel that, you know, they're not at a point in life when they want to be going after things and you still feel quite ambitious, Aries. So it feels as if leading up to this point, you 
we've been really, really evaluating your partnerships and wondering whether you have the right people around you. That's in business, in relationships, in home, just in every respect and wondering whether there's something that you need to change. So where you are right now, where we find you in September or just before when this reading is posted is that you are very focused now on your career very much wanting to take a leap forward, wanting to do something that makes a big difference, that makes a change, wanting to expand as well. You've got Sagittarius, you've got the 10th house. So looking at your achievements and your status in the outside world and wondering whether you've actually come as far as you want to go. I'm not prepared. I'm not ready to give everything up just yet. I'm not ready to hang up my hat. I'm not ready to just be all settled and relaxed. So there's a little bit of boredom and discontentment around you. There are things being offered, but they're not the things that you want. And yet, perhaps in the middle of all this, there is something that's an opportunity, and you're not seeing it as an opportunity because you're so focused on the things that you've got, but they just don't satisfy you. You're kind of restless. You're kind of bored. You're kind of looking at these things and thinking, oh, is this all there is? Is this all I've got to show for everything that I've done? Everything, that, all the work that I've put in? I can't just rest on my laurels. This is not enough for me. And here is this hand, this hand of God almost, this divine guidance offering something else from out of the clouds and saying, no, nope, there's more for you. There's something else here for you. And you're not even seeing it because you're just a little bit, I don't know, perhaps being a bit willful at the moment, willfully ignoring what's there, what else is there for you. So you, you're being asked to expand your mind with Sagittarius Aries. You're being asked to expand your mind so that you can see greater possibilities, so that this energy actually um, imbues you with power, with confidence and enthusiasm that you regain your faith and your trust that things can be different and that you can expand beyond your current reality. You're being asked to dream again. You're being asked to reevaluate your belief system. You're being asked to reevaluate your life purpose and to have faith in that life purpose. And you're also being asked to take a leap of faith that could actually move you forward in that respect. So moving into the future, if you actually do broaden your mind and take that leap of faith and recommit to your life purpose and your goals and your dreams, here's what's coming in next. A big healing. You've got Chiron. So you know, you're kind of healing the past, you're, you're healing the past that says to you, oh, I always get this wrong, or I can never quite, why is it I can't break out of this pattern? Why am I always attracting the same experience to myself? I always end up with someone who's going to limit me, or I always end up feeling this need to over control things and pushing people away, or I always end up going for something big and then faltering at the final hurdle. This is a big opportunity to heal all of that. And you've got you've Sagittarius in the present, you've got ninth house into the future, very same energy, very similar energies. So your life purpose and your belief system is really coming into focus in the future. And you're really feeling this sense of it's now or never. It's time for me to step up. It's time for me to focus my mind. Can you see that? Focus my mind so that I can heal the past so that something different becomes possible for me so that I can focus on the work of my life, the great work of my life, and finally start to move forward, working diligently, not having the breaks, not taking two steps forward and one step back, but consistently working towards a goal or a target that's actually going to move the needle for you. So that's it for you for this month, Aries. Um, let me know how that resonated for you. Let me know, you know what you understood from it or anything else that you want to share. All right, have a great September. It's going to be a very, very awakening, illuminating month for you. I hope you enjoy it and make the very most of it. Take care. Bye.